This is going to be a really short tutorial, but I want to show you guys how to make this cool looking shape here. I call it the cylindrical sphere because it's kind of both in one. It's actually super easy to make. It takes two booleans and about, you know, a minute or two of your time. Uh, so let's go ahead and make it. So we're going to start with a sphere. We can just use a UV sphere and let me subdivide this maybe once or twice and apply that and then right click to shade smooth. And now what I wanna do is I want to go into side view and I'm just gonna run a Boolean, maybe a 45 degree cube. And we're just going to run a Boolean right here on the sphere. Also adjust your auto smooth or turn that on rather. And just kind of, um, you know, get something like this. Now, essentially all we need to do to fuse the sphere into, or I'm sorry, fuse the cylinder into the sphere is to run a boolean on the boolean, cut the cutter basically. So what we can do is we can take this cutter, I'm going to add in a cylinder, 64 right here, shade auto smooth as always, and what we're gonna do is essentially scale this down a bit, move this back, and we're just gonna try to find a, uh, a cool spot here. So. Once you found, you know, a decent spot, we're going to shift click on the cube, run a difference boolean, and then what we can do is turn off the overlays panel and just kind of move this around, find a good location, you know, maybe scale it up. This could be okay. We can also go to the top view, move that forward a little bit. Don't mind this weird thing. It's because of the UV sphere. That looks pretty good. And then what I want to do is I want to take this cutter and apply the cutter on the cutter. It's kind of confusing, but I want to be able to access these edges right here. So in order to do that, I need to apply this Boolean. And then what I want to do is just select all these um, edges right here. I'm not worried about, you know, what goes on back here. It doesn't matter. It's not affecting the mesh. So I'm just going to go in and make a, you know, relatively large bevel here. Let me just shade, uh, adjust the auto smooth angle. We'll go in here. And if that's not working, that's probably because I need to shade smooth the actual cutter. There we go. And you're gonna see we have some shading artifacts, which are a little bit annoying, very easy to fix. All we need to do is go in here, just drop in some loops to kind of isolate that a bit more. And now we basically have this shape right here. So now what I want to do is apply this boolean and we're going to run a cylinder right here through the top so we can just move this back. And just, um, you know, do something like this. We're going to run a difference boolean, scale that up a bit. And now we're already almost there. So at this point, I want to do the same thing. I just want to get in here get some uh, loop cuts applied to mitigate those shading issues. And then all we really need to do is get in here and just kind of echo some of these circular shapes we already have going. It's so crazy how simple it is to make, you know, these types of cool looking shapes. So let me just go in here and we'll just run a small bevel in this area. And there we go. Looks pretty interesting. And then just one final effect I can do is apply this bull in. I'm gonna get in here and basically I want to bevel this but it's not gonna work so let's just use an offset cut with mesh machine for that just a small one and then just run a chamfer control B and now you have this cool looking shape in like two minutes not a super long tutorial but a very easy shape to make um, so hopefully you had some fun hopefully you learned some new boolean techniques and how you can use booleans together to kind of make some cool looking shapes inside of Blender. I'm going to end the video here, make it a quick one, and I'll see you soon.